Hello everybody out there and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the premiere and first episode of The Spotlight. I'm super excited right now because I've been planning this series out for quite some time. I've literally got it down to what I wanted to spotlight first. I even talked about it in this unboxing. We'll get to this in a moment. So, like with any first episode of a series, uh, let me introduce what we're going to be doing here. And I say we because I'm doing the filming, I'm recording and posting the video, but all of you, the viewers, are watching, hopefully enjoying, and sharing your feedback on whatever's being spotlighted, the series, recommendations. So this is a journey we're going on together. So, what are we going to be doing on the spotlight? On this series, I'm going to be taking something. Could be a statue, PVC or resin. Could be a figure, could be a collectible, could be an amiibo, could be a replica, could be anything physical. Could be a Funko, especially Funkos, you all know. There are a lot of Funkos out there, and you all seen, I've unboxed several. And we're going to spotlight it. We're going to put it on our spotlight table, which I'm sure all of you know what the spotlight table is, but um, for, for, for the sake of just the sake of. 360 spin without seeing my big meat cleaver hands. Number one plus. Okay, so on the spotlight, we're going to be spotlighting a specific thing, like I said. And what makes it different from a review is I'm sharing my thoughts on what I'm spotlighting, my likes, my dislikes, without going into super deep details. Like on a figure, it's the articulation. On Funkos, people talk about deeply about pain apps. No. Obviously, I will point out pain app issues or whatever, if that ever happens with a Funko or anything I get. But this is more of just me sharing my opinion, spotlighting something I really like or something that even if I don't like it, something that I want to show all of you and share my opinion on. And I'm hoping frequency wise to get at least one episode out a week, but for the beginning, let's play it by ear. So that's what I'm that's the goal with the spotlight. And I hope you all enjoy it and I'm excited. I hope all of you are. So, for this first episode, I mentioned this in an unboxing already, what we are going to be casting the spotlight on. Yes, I'm going to be doing, doing this on all the videos. We're going to be casting the spotlight on the Marvel Avengers Infinity War. It would be nice if it was actually facing us at the moment, so I might speed it up a bit. Iron Spider PVC statue. Yes, I love this statue. I'm going to open this up with that. I really love the, the detail that they put into this statue. I love the paint application they put into this statue. Down to the beautifully detailed base, which I might, I'm actually gonna stop it from spinning in a moment. We're gonna stop it here. And I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna try to get a background so it cuts off the background if, if it shows to be an issue. Let's, let's zoom into the base here. And let's hope that the camera auto focuses. The paint apps and the attention to detail on this base are amazing. From the top of the log to all the different, if you go a little lower, all the different paints and colors that are in the bottom of this base. This PVC statue is amazing. I love the base. That's one thing I will say about the base. I'll be just, I'll set, uh, because this is a huge statue and it hard, it's very hard to fit it all in the frame as you all can see from the top to the bottom. It's the most important thing is what's in the center and what's being shown, but it is quite big and that's why I will do a little cut, a jump cut and we'll do a little bit of a closer look at the entirety of the statue. But my one complaint, we're on right now, so I'm going to stop it again from spinning. These guys, the spider tendrils. This statue ends about right here, but goes up an extra half a foot because of the spider tendrils and goes out an extra half a foot, not a foot. It goes up in half a foot and it goes out about a half a foot because of these tendrils on the back. And um, that's my only little minor gripe. It's not even really a complaint. I mean, it looks amazing. And obviously in the movie, he had the tendrils. My one thing I wish they would have done though, just like with the Marvel Select figure, I wish they would have made these detachable. It would have made it a little bit easier for people and room wise, it definitely would have saved, I think, a bit of room 
with the statue. So that's my one little gripe. Um, really not a big gripe because I love this statue and I definitely think it's worth the money. Now, let's take a moment and let's take a closer look at the statue. So getting a little bit closer to the figure now, you can see all the detail that's put in from the mask. Oh, look at that. You can actually see the paint apps that I wanted. Oh, and then it went off. I'm going to try to get the zoom on it. Because of the background, again, I apologize for that. But let's see if we can get it. You can see the blue painted on the eyes, on the corners of the eyes that actually show the glowing of the eyes. Because the Iron Spider suit, the eyes actually glowed like Iron Man. You have that same detail right here on the gauntlets, right here on the spider legs. Oh, that's in the back. Well, we'll get to the back in a moment and you'll see it. But it's on the spider legs. And one thing, I love the gold that they put in with the boots. Again, it's catching the background. I I'm going to have to do something with the background. I apologize, everyone. But you see the gold on the chest. Everything is sculpted in. Nothing. Everything's painted, but nothing's painted in. It's all sculpted. This chest is all sculpted in, and it looks amazing. I love it. And there we go. I can get the face a little bit more now. So let's swing it around to the side. I love the attention to all the blue, all the little blue stuff going on in here. All the stuff that made the spider suit looks amazing goes all the way around to the back there's the spider logo on the back amazing you can see oh there we go you see all the blue and the white mixed in with the the tendril on the on the spider leg there's more they didn't waste a single point every little bit is detailed and i love it there's the gold on the hands again other side i already showed you all the base but i'll, I'll give you another one there's more of the white paint over there gorgeous figure all the way down to the boots there's the base base is detailed even in the back even in the back they did all the paint apps and all the detail so they didn't this statue full 360 turn is amazing just like the character and click so in my opinion this PVC statue is worth the $45 price tag. And if you haven't picked this up yet, definitely get your hands on this. If you're a Marvel fan, if you're a Spider-Man fan, or an Avengers fan, this will look amazing on your shelf. Even if you don't own a PVC statue and you're thinking about it, get it. Get it. Worth the money. I love it. It is actually a cornerstone on my shelf right now. I love it. Right next to the uh, resin statue, which, like I said, I will be doing a review on. Not sure if it'll be the next one, but it will be at some point. So you'll be seeing another Iron Spider statue uh, soon. But with that being said, that's it for this first episode. Two other things I did not mention. Number one was the length of each episode, which will be anywhere from about two to five minutes. This was a first episode. And for the first couple of episodes, they might be a bit longer as I'm, you know, testing out different things, trying to get my footing on what exactly I want to do with the spotlight. But ideally, that's what the goal is going to be for two to five minutes per spotlight episode. Uh, and also... I won't always know the price tag on things. I know the price for this because this is what its MSRP is all over the place. And I recently uh, received it and also it, <laughs> I had the receipt for it. <clears throat> so um, before discounts, it's $45. It's all over the place for that. Uh, and this is also current day. If you're watching this in the deep future and PVCs have gone up, this is definitely worth anywhere from $45 to $50. After that, I would say just save up a little bit extra money and go directly to the resin. But this is a gorgeous statue. Definitely get your hands on this statue before it disappears off the shelves and you never see it again. Thank you all so much for being here with me on this first episode of The Spotlight. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed recording it. And I'll see you all really soon in the next video. Take care, everybody. I'll see you all soon.